It reminds me of a conversation that my sister and I had. One Sunday, she was at church and she had a grandson with her. And the minister was doing her sermon. And she was talking about calling up God. And it's a direct line. This line's never busy. Uh, you can talk to him anytime. And um, my sister's grandson looked up at her and, and he said, Grandma, I didn't know God had a phone. And uh, really, when you think about it, we laughed about it, but uh, it is a direct line to him, but there's no cord. When I was little, we always said our prayers before we went to bed. Our parents taught us to pray over our food, say our grace, and to say our prayers. And we kneeled down um, at our bed at night, and we would uh, recite the children's prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. So we memorize that prayer. But now, since you're older, uh, you know, you don't memorize your prayers. I'm blessed to uh, be able to go to a church where, um, Mount Zion AME, where we have altar call during church service, where we go to the altar and we pray. And one thing the minister asked us, asked us to do when we're not at the altar and we're sitting in the pews is to be quiet. So I always start my prayer out thanking God. Uh, first of all, to thank God for all the things that he's done for me. I, when I think about that, I think about the biggest blessing I had um, from prayer. And that was uh, my, my husband and I had a son almost 30 years ago um, that we call our miracle baby. He was born 13 weeks early. He was premature. He only weighed one pound, 10 and a half ounces, and only 13 inches long. So it was a little, little fella, and uh, we prayed about it. And I tell you, it wasn't for family and friends. We don't know. Well, we do know what would have happened. So we had prayer, and it was a roller coaster ride. So we went through a lot for months. Um, so, but God blessed us, and he'll be. 30 years old, uh, May 3rd, the day after the prayer breakfast. Uh, he'll be 30, and he lives in Chicago. He's married and has a wife and, and doing well. So when Eric was about three years old, I thought about the experience that we had went through with him. And I thought, you know, what can I do? So I prayed to God, Lord, help me to be able to help someone else go through what I went through, because it was not a really good experience. Um, but... So I prayed about it. Then I had a friend named Bonnie that was a nurse. And I told her about what I wanted to do. And what I wanted to do was to start a support group for parents of preemies. And Bonnie said, sure, I'll help you make it happen. So um, by her being a nurse, she knew someone at the hospital. Uh, she talked to them. I met with the administrator there. And they gave us a room to meet once a month. Uh, Bronson Hospital, because he was born over in Bronson, referred parents to me. And we would meet once a month, and they gave us a nurse that would come to our meetings. And whenever I needed a doctor to come, they made that available, too. Yesterday, I talked to a parent that uh, had a preemie that was born two pounds and kind of gave her some insight and what to look forward to and told her that I would pray for her, too, because as caregivers, they need the prayer, too. My testimony is, is from my prayers. Uh, and I think when you do have prayers and God ask, answers them, that is a testimony. So I have to remember, and everyone else should remember, when prayers go up, blessings do come down.